Knights. You remember that game? Oh, Knights. Yes. The, the whole, like, how it's... That was second Saturn, not, right? Yeah, it's not like oh first-person flight, but it's like third-person flight. That was, that, was such a, that was such a good game. That's a throwback, ain't it, man? Yeah, that's, know, that's, huh? that's a cold game, too. I think we're going to look at the trailer real quick. Something that stands out real quick about this is uh, the art style, I think. So. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, there's a really unique aesthetic to it. I saw PC, Xbox One, PS4. I just want to ask, and you will definitely, like, I want to ask so many questions. About <laughs> See, because I saw the, beautiful the great thing about AJ right here is he's, he's fluent in both languages, so he can just full on just yeah, do a like a, like a trans, like, it's like a interview and translate everything back and forth. He even does his tr yeah, streams like, native, like that. Native level in, in both. He caters to two different, you know, language audiences, as you, as you mentioned. Uh, lots of Japanese stream monsters in his chat always. Lots of English stream monsters in his chat always. Really entertaining guy. And, you got to be a monster to have a beard like that, man. Just look at him. <laughs> He's crazy, man. What the hell are you doing? There's an exploration game uh, made by the developers uh, from Forgotten King. That they're uh, Swedish developers. Um, yeah, there is an exploration game. That means uh, that you shouldn't expect any action or shooter sequences. Oh, so it's really this looks really exploring cool. Exploring this really, really beautiful world um, mm. with the islands floating in the sky. And you play as R. Yeah, so a lot so of European <laughs> talent <laughs> okay. went into making this game. And um, she has the ability to, um, well, transform into Ooh. a bird and really mm. travel along all the islands that are on this world. So, this game is a Forgotten Key Studio. You know, I, I recently saw another like kind of like a online uh, game that kind of had like the same aesthetics. Um, that kind of reminds me of that. Um, I'm kind of going blank on that, uh, the name of it though, but you kind of like build airships. Um, it's kind of giving me that feel, but no this, man's is, this is beautiful. Not no, <laughs> no, no, no Man's Sky. We don't talk about that, that one, okay? <laughs> um, but... Uh, but yeah, this this gameplay is like smooth. Yeah, even before the gameplay, to me though, man, it's just like the aesthetic. This, it's it's really easy, I think, especially for Western developers. We often get caught up in like realism when we when we shoot for like aesthetic and art direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I miss so like that early 2000s, late 90s kind of polygon style mm -hmm. that's cel shaded. So this is just like. This looks and, awesome um, to me. Yeah, I love the way this looks. So yeah, and then of course developers love it as well because uh, of well, uh, performance um, as well. Yeah. It's really good on performance. Uh, <laughs> it's good, <laughs> easier to perform with. <laughs> but to be honest <laughs> with you, like even with like just like a simpler, more vibrant style design, instead of always shooting for realism, there's something like really attractive about yeah. it to me. And um, therefore she has to Let's listen to what she's saying about ancient temples. And oh, you well, go to ancient temples. Ancient oh. <laughs> a little spooky aspect yeah, right now. No, a bit mystic, but yeah, not yeah. spooky. <laughs> Don't worry about that. AJ <laughs> 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 looked like he got nightmares. <laughs> he saw it. <laughs> <laughs> he, pretty, he pretty much is uh, just explaining everything, everything uh, um, the girl is saying. Yeah, like the basis of the story, you know, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's, kind of, it's more like exploratory, more about exploring like ancient ruins, that kind of mysticism as opposed to like horror specific or anything like that. Mm -hmm. See, I wonder if you can like actually interact with uh, the animals. I wonder if she's going to talk she about got a that. Weapon. But yeah, so it seems like there's a lot of action, um, <laughs> not, not action, but then uh, <laughs> adventure aspect yeah. of going into uh, if you go to temples, can you just go in and then just start? Uh, they got a water temple. Around, or is there like oh man, uh, <laughs> if they have a water <laughs> temple, everyone's gonna hate um, that temple. <laughs> that you need to actually do to go inside. Do you need to do each temple 
at a certain order. I'm, I'm assuming it's yeah, no, no, it not, not at <laughs> any order. So uh, you have to find keys uh, for the temple. Ah, okay. And uh, they are all over the world. And uh, you will talk with um, other people about it, and you will find out with this kind of strategy more over this world. But it's also a kind of game that I would like to, you know, after a really long working day, just to make uh, start this game and just browsing around, just it's exploring. It's, it's, it's so beautiful. It's just, just relaxing. Yeah, it yeah. Looks so relaxing. I agree. Actually, yeah. yeah. It's, it's I feel better looking at it. I feel better watching. Uh -huh. You know, I would love is to actually do this in VR. No matter how sick I would oh, get, yeah, that'd be tight. I would still want to like experience this in VR. I think uh, yeah, VR is still kind of divisive, right? Like with the uh, with people that get sick after after a few minutes. And that. Yeah, but they're they're definitely like uh making like more games that like you know kind of help with that. As in like they're getting used to like what makes people sick. Mm. You would definitely get a little bit motion sick with the, this type of game. VR, I think so, yeah. But I think it would be cool though. And then as you saw, like uh, they're like in like a kind of like a, a winter uh, snowy area, which I personally love in all games. Like I love going like snowy, like winter like areas. Level? Oh, this looks beautiful. Oh my God. Look at this. And now we're in a cave, which looks super so mystical. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah this, is, this, looks, this looks dope. This yeah, looks really maybe cool. maybe one of the temples so yeah, she was talking like, about. Yeah, it's just like you really have to find out what this word is about. So, um... You will learn more and more about this world by exploring just to fly around, just to land somewhere. And then maybe you will find an entrance like this. And then you just go around and maybe seek some answers for your Mm. Yeah, definitely. You can see some gameplay elements maybe inspired by, you know, Zelda or Metroid kind of style. We go around, have to explore, maybe have some then from there you go into dungeons, maybe something like that. Yeah, me personally, like, I love to actually explore every, like, part of, like, everywhere in every game. I'm one of those people that, like, you know, like, think, like, ah, oh, the devs, they probably, they probably put, like, a hidden item somewhere. Like, I want to look for it. I want to look for it. Alex, that's exactly why I had to stop because I realized it's a problem. I have OCD. <laughs> if there's a piece of the map that isn't revealed, that'll bother me forever. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Like Grand Theft Auto, like the first, remember Grand Theft Auto, like three, when they first went 3D? Uh-huh. Bro, I was, I had like so many hours. You had to go everywhere? I had to go everywhere. <laughs> it usually pays off, though. Maybe, maybe they put something in this corner. You really see um, that each island is another zone for a zone and worth exploring, of course. ということで、あの、先ほどパッて見た限り、普通にすごい晴れてる島から飛んで雲を突き抜けた瞬間にいきなり全部雪降りみたいな感じになってしまったので、このゲームには四季も存在するのですかっていうことを考えて聞いていた
they're super successful in this market just because of, like you said, the lifestyle. Long yeah. train rides, you're naturally at home less. Um, just, there's a lot of aspects of just like living in Japan that caters to mobile gaming. Mm -hmm. And that's one reason why we've seen it explode on cell phones <laughs> and why it's been such a such an ex it, it, just expanding, rapidly expanding market. Mm -hmm. And why you see more game companies just default to developing for the, you know, with that in mind. Yeah. Because they're what, very high profit margins always, right? <laughs> you know, oh my god, this is really giving me uh, a Zelda Skyward Sword yeah. vibe right now, and I'm like dying inside because like I love that game, actually. And I actually I seriously want to play this now. <laughs> it seems very like smooth like gameplay uh, too, like with like the flying. Next Look at the waterfall the That's so cool, man. And there's animals too. And there's I thought so I was much. Gonna yeah, yeah I, wonder, <laughs> I wonder if you can like interact <laughs> with them. So there's other wildlife as well. Yeah. Even the way the grass, like the, uh, the blades of grass come up after her feet, man, like, super visually stimulating game. That's really cool. Oh, and they have another game to show us. Yeah, that was, that was just the first title. That was Air. 